What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. I mean right off the bat. Nah, I was Train Horn Central? He's solid. <laughs> so we've got Big Sergio, Big Wes, and we got Big Ferns, Brisket Mobile over here. What are we doing to this thing? Breaking glass. <laughs> well, they came out with, you know, Chris's idea where they want to change this to have a white and amber flashing for turn signals. Right. So now I have to change this once. But when I was taking it apart, I asked him, hey, is this aftermarket or not? And he said, yeah, it's aftermarket. And I think it's from Boost Auto. I was like, okay, it's enough. I can take it apart and change it. I did it once already, right? But guess what? It's not Boost Auto. And I was trying to get, at the top mirror was hard to take off, but I was able to. You can see, right? Without breaking. Let's right. Right. See? Yeah, that's a completely different little completely clip different. setup yeah. than mine. Yeah, completely different. It's really hard to take it off, but well, took it off. And then I was playing with the lower one and I was like, no, this is it's not, it's not getting out. It's like not working. And I was trying and trying and trying. And like call them again, hey, are you sure it's Boost Auto? Because I'm gonna look in the installed videos that they have. And he goes, yeah, yeah, it should be. Then I look into the videos and I was looking, hey, and they're saying in the instructions, hey, if you have Boost Auto, you can pop it out. But if you have other brands, you might have to break the glass and take out a screw that's in the middle of the glass. Jeez. So guess what? That's, that's <laughs> you get, the case. He right got there. the brake kind. Yeah, the brake kind. <laughs> I mean, you can already tell like the plastic looks weirder and it has this weird curve in it so these definitely aren't boost auto i don't know where fern got these yeah, but he got them off offer up the guy listed them as boost auto and yeah. oh really yeah he listed he, he's like yo i'm gonna get these mirrors they're so cheap <laughs> you're just gonna break it break it sergio yeah that's the point right inside the car yeah, yeah right sergio's not excited about this but yeah i mean this no. is like confirmed a couple people over here that this is the only way that these lower mirrors on whatever aftermarket ones these are come off is they have to be broken because there's what a screw right in the center yep exactly in the center right there there's no way around it all right sergio get get seven years of bad luck buddy uh that's true right Yo, you're I can a lot that. i can charge that <laughs> oh, well you got that side you got my mirror this is a lot of bad luck sergio <laughs> through it though right all right here do it oh cool that's Stop strong it. yeah oh jeez. No, Wes. Wes. <laughs> you want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right, all right. Now we can chip it away. <laughs> we don't want you to get splitters. Yeah. This, this is how you're supposed to do it, man. Jeez. I thought it's right. No. What a joke of a design. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. Great there design. You go. That yeah. is. And Boost makes a replacement that goes on this one? Yeah, actually they, they give you the replacement, they know they come like this, and they give you another option to buy the mount. Uh, now that way you can screw it in the mount, and now you have a pop-in, pop-out. Gotcha. Mirror, which is good. Yeah. But unfortunately we need to know uh, at a good time that we had to break this one, so we have to wait for this one to arrive. So the actual plan today is uh, to not break any more mirrors, but that is a crazy weird design. I hate designs like that. I know a lot of actual Vehicle manufacturers, some of the parts are meant to be broken or clips are meant to be broken when you pull them off so you have to buy new clips. But anyways, speaking of broken, the plan today is to get the old C10 here finalized. But first, uh, me and Wes got to make a trip and brave the dangerous aisles of the Home Depot. So we came to Home Depot because I needed to order a new dryer, which we did get ordered. And then on our way out, we saw some toolboxes out front. And uh, yeah, Wes being the king of offer up deals, he's also the king of Home Depot deals. He just got me a uh, essentially almost $700 plus tax toolbox. We got it out the door right now for less than 250 bucks. And we got help for us. So they got that little thing that lifts it. Yeah, I think that's what he went to go get. Yeah, it's only got one. It is missing. Oh no, there's... Are they all in one? Yeah, they're, they're in here. They're, oh, they're kind of wet though. You have to lay them out to dry them out. That's fine. Either way, you can't beat it for 250 bucks out the door. Right. This thing is solid. I mean, Good stuff. It is, it is heavy. With the bottle opener, the nice little little piece of little lubricants or some degreasers or something. Oh, that's a sin. Yeah, oh, it for sure is. Yeah. Oh, here's the little cable cable coil. Cable wrap. Don't hit the truck, please. Oh, two, three. We gotta go high. We got two special buys today. <laughs> right. All right. It looks like it's gonna work. Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. Great job, Wes. Great job, buddy. Hey, you're welcome, man. I'm here for you. If you weren't going to buy it, I was going to buy it. I 
might have peer pressured you into it. It's, Couldn't pass up that price. It's solid. It's a solid box. I see them on offer up for four hundred bucks because they're regular six fifty. So right. to be honest, I was like, damn, three fifty. That's a good deal. And then I, you know, I used the good old, how bad do you want to get rid of this? You know, sitting outside before it really falls. Apart. So uh, yeah, we thought Fern was installing boost switchbacks in the mirrors here. I don't know where Fern got these. These are supposedly sequentials like the ones that we saw on Wes's the other day, but you could see it looks to me like these were pulled apart and rebuilt and resealed like some of the guys that build headlights do, but I don't know. I mean, you could see a big old splooge of hot glue in the front right there. They don't look very great. And then just an insane, I don't there's a lot of wires coming off the back of this. Fern's original mirrors have all kinds of wire. What is, oh, that's gotta be, Defrost or yeah. yeah, oh jeez. This is the one I don't know what it is for. You guys can just see all the the goop that's on there. I mean, granted, when most people build headlights, like you don't see that side either. A lot of headlight builders, they kind of do look like that because it's hard to really get them sealed without it splooging out everywhere. But seeing the little glue spot in the front there, I would not be very happy with. And Sergio's really excited on this wire. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, look what I, I was like this, and I didn't I didn't even have any instructions, so. <laughs> what you have to do is just play with it. Yeah, and then that's a lot of wire to tuck back in the mirror there yeah. and, and store in the mirror. I don't know why they ran so much. I don't know. Well, I guess they didn't want they didn't know how to trim but it. Look, this also is like stripping out. Yeah, yeah, so you see the wires are. Oh, hold on, let's see it'll focus. The wires are already broken. So right at the of course the worst spot. <laughs> I mean, you spend too much in you know the installation, the professionals doing it and all that. Uh, but if you do this, then you're risking that they. At a certain point, they're gonna fail because this is not waterproof. Sergio, don't you love all these mysteries you've been getting brought lately? <laughs> <laughs> all in mirrors. All right, we got something for an, uh, no sequential. No, not the other one. They also have a weird flicker to them. <laughs> all right, let's try a different wire. Okay, so the yellow one. Yellow wire. Oh, it's flashing. Oh, that's a strobe. Strobe. Uh, oh, oh, it's the wrong way. Okay. The good news is it looks like it's a long enough signal. It makes it all the way to the end. Let's see. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's quick. Uh, totally. That's very quick. So but do you see that little flicker in the LED? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's internal. Not a really good sign inside. I think that's in this little thingy? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, so still power in there. And somehow the ship, small really chips, every single voltage that you have there, even if it's too low, will do something to LEDs. Gotcha. For 60 that I had made work for this customized junk from from <laughs> these Instagram light guys for 300 and something dollars those are primo dynamic are they yeah you pay 300 for those yeah that's why I said all these guys Ooh. that make aftermarket you got me a salad here I was just gonna say man yeah eating good dude chick-fil-a added an extra eight pieces of nuggets on it because you know oh, yeah, it's you, not gotta, yeah, you had a long day dude, negotiating earlier fuck? you see that dude on the outside like this okay you you did what you had to do to whatever yeah. but in there and then you see how much wire they want you to stuff behind the mirror and crap like it shouldn't be that many they build them in house with like morimoto led strips that are sequential they better be morimoto for that price yeah well <laughs> apparently those strips cost like 40 to 60 per strip you need wow. four to make a set but they're getting them at a discount because they're buying them in bulk but they should have tied them in together and it should only be three wire hooks dang daddy you're wasting no time buddy we're getting right to it my what parts were we waiting for i know the splines were all screwed up on your drive shaft so yeah we got it already, finally. I mean, finally, it's only been a day. <laughs> hey, to me, it feels like forever. We got the new one, and this one, uh, does does go in? this one does what it's supposed to. It actually slides? All the way in. Look at so that. That's what the problem was all along. This U-joint's not coming out like it is. I'm pretty sure it's just gotten banged up over. Well, I mean, it did go, you know, get wedged in at 100 miles an hour, so yeah. yeah. Allegedly, as allegedly, you can, allegedly. As you can see right there, it's all banged in, so I don't think the U-joint's coming out, so I'm gonna cut it out. Alright, so we're going to get a new U-joint. Oh yeah. Are you gonna do fat burnouts with Wes's truck? Oh yeah, daddy let me daddy let me drive the big truck. <laughs> yeah, Alright. I mean you've seen it every time I let him drive my shit. What does he do? He hops in my shit and takes off, right? Yeah, I think you should do a couple burnouts. See if you can match these marks right here. It's about time I get uh I get me. We're live, Fernando. What's up, buddy? So let me tell you what kind of day I've had. Oh jeez. Today support your small local business. So I go to a small local business, take them my switchbacks. Let's not say the company just yet because I'm not that kind of person. It's already been said, but go ahead. I spent $200 on this. Yes, we're all blue collar, you know? $200 can go to a lot. Um, and by mind you, I had to wait three weeks from this to come to LA. LA to San Diego is about two hours. So 
one of our buddies in our truck group said, recommend this company. Stanson Rich, that's you, buddy. Go ahead, I won't, we won't name names. Yeah, yeah. no one won't name some names. We, we won't name names. Then, the product went from a $200 job to a $650 job in one day. But if you really want something, you know, work for it, right? You know, it's just, uh, it's just. Hey, Fern, let's go see how we're doing over here. I got Good news door. is you've got Sergio, the best in the business the on best. figuring out wiring oh. messes. Yeah, Sergio doesn't want any more people coming. But yeah, at least Sergio, he's good at figuring out wire messes from <laughs> from my mess. You know, he's, he's the best in the business. That's why him. I go to him because he's highly recommended. He supports small local business. That's right. Sergio, give me some good news. Yeah, I didn't recommend the lights. <laughs> rich, <laughs> rich. Yeah, let's make sure no, everybody rich. knows I didn't recommend the lights. Rich, you're gonna, you lost a lot of points. I mean, listen, Sergio's gonna make them work. Like, let's not. No, he's gonna make them work. Any headlights that you see torn apart by the headlight builders, there's gonna be some goop on the back. I get it. I don't like that you see the goop on the front holding the strips in, but if they're using more Moto strips or quality strips, like, it's gonna be quality. As long as they don't leak, I mean, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be happy at the end. I hope so. So, here's a good story. I have a buddy that works for the county, or the, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, and he deals with uh, Border Patrol and all that, and they take, a, take apart doors. Yeah. They find a lot of money in the cars. Yeah, we didn't Did find, find any. any money? We've been looking. We didn't find any. Zero. Man, I would have ran already like Colson. Damn it. <laughs> we bought some more LED lights. Yeah. LED lights. How does LED lights cost $200 when in China it's probably what, a dollar? Yeah, prob but cents? probably there was one labor between. It looks like they get the housing from somewhere and then they buy the lights from somewhere else and then put them together. Yeah, and so used Walmart glue yeah whatever stick glue like. for i don't know if it's a bad product yet Fern. take it easy buddy yeah. like they work we wired them up a they work oh, listen yeah. the, the, here's the issue here's the issue i mean you did pay for a premium product yes but a lot of times number one aftermarket like it gets weird in the wiring so labor does cost a decent amount when you're working on yeah good labor i'm figuring out the wiring mess um you know you could have gone to boost and got plug and play Yes. for a, a much more reasonable price but it doesn't have the sequential feature so i, I know you wanted the sequential yeah, that's the reason i went or you get the ones that west did on amazon i mean listen sometimes you get really good stuff for a good price sometimes you spend a lot of money and it doesn't end up working out yes. these are going to work it's going to be expensive but they're going to work Fern. learn from my mistake yes yes learn from my mistake almost there, almost there. all right we got our new yoke you got the new yoke new u joint it's all coming together and then uh, we're gonna send it. Coming down, boys, coming down. You ready? How fat of a burnout are we gonna do? Are we gonna roast these tires off? I hope my transmission's still good. <laughs> I probably burnt up the whole fucking clutch pack and everything and geez. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah. All right, C10's pretty much done. He's just gotta top it off with some fluids. Now we gotta play the uh, three truck shuffle, well, four truck, I guess. We gotta move Wesley's truck now to be able to get the uh, OBS out here. Is this spewing out? Yeah, a little bit. How much should we put in? RPO 10 quarts? Capital Eight. No, I think it's because uh, the sump is full, but since my torque converter is completely empty, that's probably why it's overfilling. So we should probably should have filled it up halfway, started it, let the torque converter fill up, and then redid it. You got any more left? No. Oh, all right. It's close enough. Burnout time it is. Oh, yeah. Hers like a kitten. Oh, and just in time, Fern's truck is done outside. Hey, look at that. I will say, compared to Wes's, so the one thing about Wes's is they actually tinted. These are the Amazon. Um, I don't really know where on Amazon he got these, but somewhere on Amazon he got these. And they tinted the lenses so dark that the LEDs shining through kind of have like a yellowish tinge to them. Whereas on Fern's, like I said, assuming they're using more Moto products, which are very bright and high end, like this actually looks really clean on the bright side of things. And hmm. <laughs> yep. That's uh, I mean, all right. I, I don't really like seeing that, but me neither. But no, I try. I put it back together like five times. This might be because Fern's mirrors are another aftermarket on another aftermarket. Like that yeah. could just be the why things aren't lining up properly there. But they look good. I mean, they're bright. It's done. They look. Right. They, they light up great, Fern. It's a lot. Better just take than it once. as a win. It's done. Money spent. Let's just keep rolling, Fern. Yep. Yep. Six hundred fifty dollar mistake. Hey, thank you. The, the LED strips they used are good. I mean, so you can see the difference. Light yours up, Wes. It's going to be kind of hard to see. But Wes's, the lenses are so smoked that it, it darkens everything. Whereas these, they just smoked, or just painted the background black. I think the lenses are clear. So you don't really see much of it. I think she's running a little rich. Good Lord, my eyes are burning in here. The mirror, buddy, watch that mirror. 
All right, hold on. Now we're gonna do a comparison since we've been on this train horn kick. We've got horn blasters XL kit. What is it? Shocker XL, Shocker XL kit. Four trumpet. Four trumpet. The plastic horns versus the three trumpet. One one five something something. Four six one one five. But I will say his is mounted in a better location, firing in two directions with more clearance than mine. So. All right, let's hear I, it. I, They're pretty comparable. His is just a. He's got a deeper tone. Yeah, kit for kit. If you bought the maxed out kit with that, you're only right around 550 ish. That's close to a grand with the. Gotcha. With everything. Be compliant. COVID compliant? There you go. You're good. <laughs> are, you the, are you the enforcer? What? <laughs> <laughs> Light them up. Light them up. I think you're going to need some, some bigger jack stands, buddy. I can't even. Jack stand weighs more than the truck. So apparently, uh, two more C clips and this thing will be good to go. Yeah. It's always got his fans on, right? They're always on? It does a pretty good donut. It does. I don't believe you. Let's see. Take it out. <laughs> yeah, Fern says. I think Fern's hoping you blow it up so you have to fix it. Don't fucking blow it up. <laughs> hey, we got West warranty? Well, I can already see all the smoke over here from what you did a minute ago. Fern, what if he puts it in the wall over there? Don't put that in the universe. I'm just... Well, I'll, I'll get his six... <laughs> Probably cover that stuff. Alright guys, well the good news is the C10 is back together. Uh, we are anticipating some fat burnouts today, but uh, he wants to run that thing for a little bit. He don't want to just like blow it up right before it breaks in. But the good news is we got a sweet new toolbox for the house. But now we gotta figure out how to unload that by ourselves, which is gonna be very interesting. But with that, we're gonna wrap up this video as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a okay, thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.